We're on to race number five, and this is a Phillies and Mayor 62 divided handicap, 1,400 meters the trip, an absolute nightmare. But Ryle has told me that he's worked it out, so I couldn't make heads or tails on what I was going to do in race number five. And with his confidence, maybe we'll straight over hand over to him because you narrowed this down to just two runners, Ryle. Yes, he is number six, which is Cold Hearts Day. Now, this individual was all the rage on debut when getting the job done, beating Nas Derovia. It wasn't the strongest of races. There has been a winner from the form line, but I think that this horse has got lots of scope for improvement. And uh, she does return from, we'll call it a four-month rest, Samango Kumalo aboard. But I think she could be good enough to win in this lineup. If we just have a look at the three-year-olds that she does take on, I think she's got the most scope for improvement from all three-year-olds. And she's prob possibly got the most ability. And she's only rated a 77 and receiving weight from the other three-year-olds. I think she's going to be good enough from the three-year-old bunch. And then from the older horses, I picked out number seven, Angel's Wish. Has a horse to keep a close eye on. She gets the best off the draw now with Mark Khan taking the ride. Beaten behind Fashionada last time out. Beaten four and a half lengths. But I think stepping her down in trip to 14.50 could just be the right move, especially from the best of the draws. I think she'll get a decent toe into the race. And with Mark Khan aboard, I expect the Angel's Wish to be finishing off a race very nicely late on in the day. And at around 12 and a half to 1 in the market, I think she's worth an each-way play. So 6 and 7 for me. And in those place accumulators, I'm happy to bank a number 6 cold out stare. But in terms of the pick six and jackpots, I'm going to go two horses. And that's number 6 cold out stare and number 7 Angel's Wish. This race, you mentioned you found it tough. Oh. What would be your narrow first choice for Rovin Banker? I'm telling you now, this is the way I see it. We got five horses in the first leg of the pick six. If the guys are listening to the show, well, it's began in race number three. We picked out five horses. In race number four, we picked out two horses. This pick six is costing 10 rand for the show. I like a horse that I'm going to banker coming up. So I'm, I'm willing to take the field here. I'm going to go multiply this by 10. So my 10 rand becomes 100 rand. Ryle's 10 rand becomes 20, 20 rand. rand. Yep, Ryle's spending less money than me thus far, but let's see how that goes. So he's going six and seven. Play around his numbers here, race number five. If you're looking for two more horses to include along with these two runners, number one, United Express, and number two, Silvery Blue, get the vote from me. And if you're looking for an absolute roughie, I say absolute roughie, but the horse is 12 to one. I like number nine, Java House, for the minor position. So. Two horses for Ryle, six and seven. The field for me in the pick six. Tricky race, but if you're going to be at Ryle, maybe you could get through with the minimum spend.